Okay, hi everybody. We're going to solve this permutation equation right here. I'm going to show you a couple of different ways of doing this as well here, but we'll start off with uh, what has to be done. Um, for me to solve this algebraically, I need to convert the NP3 into factorial notation because that's, that is something that I have a little bit of control over the algebra here. So this is going to be N factorial over N minus 3 factorial will equal 42 times N minus 2. Now, I'm going to simplify this before I move on, and I do that by expanding the larger of the two factorials because, because of the way this works. This is kind of a discrete form of mathematics here. Anytime I expand the larger one, it will always kind of subsume the, the smaller one here at some point. So n factorial is going to start with n. The, the next factor below n, okay, is going to be n minus 1. The next one below that, starting here, will be n minus 2. The next one below that, and here it is. This is the n minus 3 that I was looking for. So I put the factorial to indicate that this will continue on until I get to 1. But then I've got this n minus 3 factorial in the denominator. So here, 42, n minus 2 on the other side here. Now I'll do some canceling. The n minus 3 factorials cancel. And then in addition, the n minus 2 term on both sides cancel. Okay, so I'm getting 1s when I divide those all out. And now I'm going to get n times n minus 1 is equal to 42. Now, at this point right here, I can tell you right now that n must be 7. Now, I'm going to show you a couple of ways of doing this, but I know that n must be 7 because think about it. These are factors of 42. Give me two factors of 42 that differ by 1. Well, has to be 7 and 7 minus 1, 6. Therefore, n is equal to 7. Okay. If, if that, if you're not comfortable with that, but by the way, it should always work out like that. They, like, they shouldn't end up being really crazy decimals here. That's the nature of this, this chapter. But if you're not comfortable with that, just multiply that out. Bring the 42 over and we get 0. And now factor this. And so you're going to get, okay, your factors of 42 that add to negative 1, okay, will be minus 7 plus 6. And so therefore, x n is equal to 7 and negative 6. But negatives, negatives don't count. So n is equal to 7. Now, that's one way of doing this problem here. Another way of doing this problem involves using the calculator. And so what I'm going to do here, oh, it's a little bit of a little bit of a sh uh, glare there. But what I'm going to do here is in my calculator, I'm going to enter in both sides of the equation. So I'm going to go math over to probability permutation. And I'm going to make this uh, x, oops, sorry. I did not do that the way I needed to. I should have done the x first, sorry. x, go over to the permutation. x, pick 3. Then I'll come down here and I'll make this 42 times x minus 2. Okay, there's the other side of the equation. Now, I'm not going to graph this. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go to my table of values. And then I'm going to slide down my table of values until the two, the two values in the, the y column are the same. And, the ans and when you take a look at that, look down here. When x is equal to 7, those two columns are the same. So again, my answer here would have to be 7. 